tonight on Sideline. Here we go, the last weekend of the regular season. Old Shell Road is known for championship football teams. St. Paul's and UMS Wright square off again for bragging rights. And the Yellow Jackets of McGill Tulin try to cap off a perfect regular season. Standing in their way, the Pirates of Fairhope. We think pink for one more Friday night in October. Stay tuned for colorful highlights coming up on Sideline. You have the best seat in the house. All the scores from all the games right now on Sideline. And here's Randy Patrick. All right, where's your pink Mel showers? Yeah, we're closing the month of October and Breast, uh, breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's also been a very dry month and continues to be unfootball-like temperatures throughout uh, this football season that is now in week 11. A couple of teams having a... Uh, a bye before the playoffs, including the Jackson Aggies and Blunt Leopards, who are idle this week, but lots of action as we get to it right now with the big one on Old Shell Road. The St. Paul Saints, the defending 5A state champions, taking on the New Miss Wright Bulldogs. Both of these teams have been ranked number one in the state in their classes. St. Paul's in 5A, UMS Wright in 4A. In the battle of the turnovers, Swift Lyles handoff to Jalen Omar Davis was uh, loose, and Mark Mason Watts came up with it, setting up a Tanner Allen touchdown run around left end, and there he goes. This guy's going to play baseball for LSU. Bulldogs up early, 7 to nothing. Then Tanner Allen from the shotgun to Michael Matthews. And Matthews loses the grip on the football. Edwin O'Gwen gets the scoop and the score for the Saints. More turnovers to come. Lyle for the Saints from the gun. Throws downfield and he's picked off by Tyler Racconi for the Bulldogs. The defense for UMS right tonight, Stellar. Michael Matthews with a one-yard dive to make it 14 to nothing. Dogs. Lyle back in the shotgun. And this time he'll throw again, giving it a try. Dalton Goff with the pick six. Another turnover. And that's spelled doom tonight for the Saints, who lose 28 to 7. This series now tied 19 19 in 38 matchups between the Saints and the Bulldogs. What a great rivalry. Baker and MGM tonight. The Vikings. Coming in this game with a 5-4 record, Baker at 5-4, game on. Trey McMillan, the outstanding running back, powers his way into the end zone, and the Hornets up 7-0. to nothing. How about Mary Montgomery, Colin O'Shea loading it up, and a great catch by Jordan Johnson with the extension, and that's a touchdown Vikings. Here comes Trey McMillan back, though, following his blocking for the touchdown. Baker gets the victory, 35-28 in favor of the Hornets tonight. The McGill Tulin Yellow Jackets ranked number one in the state in Class 7A. The defending champs also ranked number five in USA Today Super 25 poll. That's a number five national ranking for the Jackets, who are up 35 to nothing when we pick up the action. Cameron Banks with a hit for McGill Tulin. Ouch! And here are the Yellow Jackets now getting the football, and that's Brandon Hinton. And Hinton looking for some blocking. He'll take it down around left end. Is he going to make it all the way to the house? No, finally, Fairhope's Cole Deeds makes the tackle. He's the punter. Got a way to hustle. Brian Hill will take it in. And the Yellow Jackets cruise to their 10th victory of the season, 42-13. to The final score tonight, the Jackets 10-0, heading to the postseason. How about Davidson? Wow, what a good team. There's Mo Buddy. Noel Lewis on Seniors Night with his son Jacob Coleman, among other parents tonight, honoring their senior sons. Tavares Jones around the right end for pay dirt, and the Warriors are in business. Cephas Johnson, watch this play. He's going to roll to his left and then a little up. Quick pass there. They are, maybe it was a lateral. Who cares? It's James Clemens, and he can run. Is he that fast? I think that was electronically induced. Anyway, he is a fast one. Here's Tyler James taking it in. And look at that extra effort, Davidson. Wow, looking like a championship team maybe. 35 to nothing winners tonight over Alma Bryant. Understand Bruce Breland has resigned as head coach for Bryant. He will soon go undergo cancer treatment. In Birmingham, we wish him the best of luck. Theodore versus Foley tonight in Theodore, Bobcat country. And there's some of that pink we were talking about. Lots of pink tonight. It's been a great month. Trevor Andrews to Leonard Gaston. And there's a fumble on the play. Iverson Armstrong picks it up for the Lions on the next play. And that's a bad snap. 
Those turnovers are costly. Theodore's Austin Smith will come up with it, and that gets the offense back out on the field, and Chris Sullivan uh, gets the uh, touchdown here, and Theodore gets the win, 35-10. to 10. Theodore ends the season at 500, 5-5. Five and five. Foley ends it at 3-7. and seven. Up next, Daphne and Baldwin County, the Tigers tonight. Head coach Nathan McDaniel taking on Kenny King. Coach McDaniel, a former assistant at Daphne High School. And this is Latarius Batiste with the great moves. This kid is exciting. And it's a 45-yard run down to the 10-yard line. That will set up a Mike Franklin touchdown run on fourth down. Kenny King gambling, and he wins. And then it's Batiste to Miles Henderson, and, or rather, Miles Henderson will get it here from Chance Newman, the quarterback, and it's all Daphne tonight, 54 to 13. Daphne has won eight in a row. They're eight and two, heading to the playoffs. Baldwin County ends the season at five and five. For Robertsdale and Gulf Shores tonight. Gulf Shores trying to get that first victory of the season. What had happened against the Bears? Quarterback Nate Krebs to Evan Robinson on the screen. He cuts it across the field, takes it in. For the score, the extra point no good. Robertsdale up 6 zip. Dolphins mascot Splash dressed up as a ghost for Halloween, hoping to scare the Bears. Gulf Shores stalls in the red zone, and they have to settle for a field goal, 6-3. to three. Robertsdale comes back, another touchdown. There's a nice catch by Gilbert Jackson, who jumps up and snags the football. 13-3 Bears. Gulf Shores would make it a game in the second quarter. The final score, 34-13 in favor of the Bears, who finished 2-8. and eight. Gulf Shores ends the season 0 and 10. Better luck next year, Gulf Shores. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back and check out Mobile Christian at Williamson. As we go to the break, we honor our, our officials who work to keep us in line on Friday nights in high school football. Mr. Green, referee, good luck to you. Mr. Green, referee, good luck to you. And that referee is Mr. Paul Green, who is approaching 80 years of age. Mr. Green has been officiating in the Mobile area for 50 years now. He had the Escambia County game tonight in Atmore. And what a career for Mr. Paul Green. Almost 80 years and growing, going strong. And he says he's not thinking about retirement just yet. We'll have Escambia County and Faith highlights later in the show. You're watching WKRG Sideline 2016, brought to you by Green and Phillips Injury Lawyers. More highlights with Randy Patrick coming your way. And again, Seniors Night around Coastal Alabama as uh, a number of seniors playing in their last high school football game tonight. Others are headed to the playoffs and the proud parents. A lot of work to get their kids to a senior status in high school football. All right, how about the Bur Battle of Murder Creek? It's only appropriate on Halloween weekend. And one of the fans uh, who was a player honored before the game, that gentleman played in the 1946 Battle of Murder Creek between W.S. Neal and T.R. Miller. Miller on the four-yard line, or I should say W.S. Neal, and they score. It's a 6 to nothing lead for the visitors. T.R. Miller's Michael Campbell with a great block by Aaron Nicholson. Nearly trips and falls, but he keeps his feet and goes 40 yards. On the next play, it's Michael Campbell. Great block this time by Christopher Noble. And another 20-yard run. And Miller moving towards Paydirt. And there they go in for the touchdown, 7-6. to six. And Miller took a 14-6 to six lead. Then Michael Campbell, W.S. Neal. Pass intercepted by Joseph Booker, and Booker books down the field for 40 yards. And the final score in favor of T.R. Miller tonight as they win it 35-6. to Mobile Christian having a great season. They're ranked number three in Class 3A, trying to close out the regular season at 9-1, taking on the Williamson Lions, and it's Eric Polinitz getting it in for the touchdown. One of three touchdowns on the night for Mr. Polinitz. Quarterback Joseph Horn finds Polinitz again, and that's a nice pitch and catch for Ronnie Cottrell's Mobile Christian team that wins it tonight, 47-20. to Mobile Christian will host Strawn next week in round one of the playoffs. Let's go to Atmore again, Escambia County taking on Faith Academy. Lots of pink tonight. The Blue Devils coming with lots of school spirit. Escambia's Devin Robinson throws deep to Catrice Russell, and Russell's got it, and he has the touchdown. Yeah. Faith Academy's Braxton Bell will throw to James Harris, and Harris is going to take it in for the touchdown, and the final score from Escambia tonight, 
44 to 28 in favor of Faith Academy. Faith gets its third win of the season. Escambia finishes up two and eight on the year. Let's check out some of the action from last night's busy Thursday night. The Panthers of Murphy taking on the Viger Wolves. Viger headed to the playoffs and Murphy had to get some luck tonight, which apparently they did. You see they won last night 28 to 14 and we understand that Murphy has squeaked its way into the playoffs. We'll know for sure tomorrow morning. BC Rain and Sarah Land, the Spartans at home last night, hosting the Red Raiders in a do-or-die football game. Jonathan Perryman in for the touchdown. How about Clifford Powell to Cornell Davis for the Red Raiders? 62 to 26. You like offense? That was your game last night. Sarah Land moving on to the playoffs. Spanish Ford also taking its game to the postseason. They're defending champions in Class 6A in the state of Alabama. Taking on the floor last night, and that's Dewan James for the floor with a touchdown. And Jack Simsell will score one for the Toros and score the victory for Spanish Fort, 25-6. to six. Chickasaw and Satsuma in a neighborly battle. That's not a gator, that's a dinosaur. Maybe they're one and the same. Blair Gurlity follows the block, and he's in for the touchdown for Satsuma. Then Chickasaw's Trent Jones will scramble and find Christian Turner downfield for the touchdown. And this one goes to Satsuma as the Gators win it in a close one, 34 to 30. We'll come back, take a look at some of the other scores we have on this final Friday night of the regular season. And we say congratulations to our three state champions in volleyball from our area. St. Luke's won the 2A title in Birmingham this week. St. Paul's won the 5A state championship in volleyball in Birmingham. And the Bayside Academy Admirals win their 18th straight volleyball championship in Class 3A. Make that their 15th straight championship in volleyball in Class 3A. Congratulations, girls. Sideline continues in just a moment. Now, the play of the week. Brought to you by Gulf Coast Office Products. And back to the Baker Mary Montgomery game and watch Cullen O'Shea throw it up for Jordan Johnson. And Jordan, with great extension, great concentration, and great hands, has a touchdown. And he is celebrating also because he's on TV with the Gulf Coast Office Products Play of the Week. Let's check some other scores from Friday night action. It was St. Luke's and Cottage Hill in a wild one 41 to 30. Five, the final score in favor of Cottage Hill. The backyard brawl, Thomasville and Clark County, 22 to 16 in favor of the Tigers tonight. Andalusia gets the shutout, 35 to nothing over Strawn and moves on to the playoffs. Carroll beating Bayside Academy tonight, 26 to seven. And Leroy, the Bears get the win, beating Millery tonight, 32 to 14 is the final score. And how about Laverne and Flomaton in a close one, 29 to 28 going Lou Vern's way, Sweetwater, 48-42 winners over New Brockton. And Southern Choctaw beats Moringo tonight, 12-8, your final score. Let's look ahead to college action tomorrow. Or, or rather, let's uh, look at Thursday night scores. Before we look at the college action, you saw Citronelle in Washington County in an exciting game going to Citronelle. There's our college games tomorrow. And it was uh, Florida and Georgia right here at 2.30. Georgia State and South Alabama at 4 here in Mobile. And the Auburn Tigers and Ole Miss on the SEC Network tomorrow night at 6.15. Thanks for watching our show. If you'd like to see it again, log on to WKRG.com. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching WKRG Sideline 2016. Brought to you by Green and Phillips Injury Lawyers.